but we were here, you know, when she was back with another shaving video. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, this is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So before we all get before we get started, hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Those of you that celebrate it, and God bless you all. Anyways, okay. You might notice my camera angle is different and it sucks because my camera mount broke. It fell. So we'll see how it goes. All right, today's shave. You guys know my last shave that I posted, I think the last one, I used a straight razor that I had took to the stones. Well, I took this razor back to the stones after getting some more tips and some more advice from some awesome, awesome wet shaving brothers out there. Um, so we have the uh, Bismarck again. Uh, I think I did better. And we're going to try this guy again too, okay? So, again, I've mentioned it before that there's a story behind this one that I'm waiting. I just want to be able to get a good shave out of this first before I lay it all out there for you guys. All right. What am I using in my shave today? You just saw the razors. I'm going with the Sterling Boar. Love this razor. And this will be the first time using tobacco in the jar. You guys may or may not know I have the stick and I love it. It's a fantastic freaking scent and a great, great performer. Going a little old school today. All right. Let me get this um, soap, room water on my face and we'll start lathering. Sorry, it's going to be loud. All right. So, it's a little bit cold and wet here in um, my part of the world. This thing was uh, booming for a, a bit long. I was, I was fucking with my camera mount. It was pretty dummy. <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> Crap. So I bought this uh, last year when I was in Germany for training. Um, no, I have not used it yet. This is the first time. I've got the stick, right? So. Oh, yeah. This has come along nicely now. So really quick, I'll just mention, um, so I have, I mentioned it before, I have two honing stones, both synthetic. Um, they're Naniwas, the Gokin line. Um, they have get great, great reviews, especially for the price. Um, let me rinse this off real quick. Great review, especially for the price. Um, one is a 4,000 grit. The other one is an 8,000 grit. Now, what made me decide to get these two was actually um, Keith Johnson's site. He's got a video on, um, talks about 8K stones, and this one was his second favorite. First one was uh, the Snow White, not was Snow White. But if I figured if Keith could get a shaving edge off of an 8K stone, it might be worth considering. I mentioned before that I was actually successful in getting a shave off that stone. Uh, so we'll see if if I can uh, be successful again. And then I also have a, a diamond plate. Now the diamond plate is um, a cheap one from China, double sided. Uh, one side is four hundred, one side is twelve hundred. And I had mentioned before that I used that to set the bevel on this bad boy. Now my Bismarck 
already had a bell set, so I ain't fucking with it. More water. So the Bismarck, it's just trying to refine the edge a little bit more in practice, you know? Great scent. Beautiful scent. Oh my gosh, look how thick that is. Woo! Use water. Now, I've mentioned before, I don't have a proper finishing stone yet. So, I'm experimenting, trying to get the, you know, trying to learn to get the most out of this 8K stone that I can. That way, when I do go to a finisher, it'll just be that much better. Man, this is beautiful soap. Really good thick. Tobacco is one of those soaps that can be polarizing for a lot of people, but it's such a fantastic soap, man. It's kind of hard not to have in your den, I think. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I'm digging this. Really, really nice. All right, I think that's good. Okay, rinse my hands off. You have to be very, very careful with this mount because the phone is not really secured. It's just laying there. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. All right, so we're gonna see how this edge feels. Um, again, I don't know if I have the bevel set 100% correct on this or not, or the steel or what, but it's it's been rough. Okay, first pass with the grain. Just gonna get a feel for it. Oh. Oh, well, some bitch. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> nice. Guys, I'm onto something here. Kind of exciting. Needs a little bit more on the chin. So I think what I'll do now is I'll, I'll just do finish up this side of the face with this razor and then I'll jump to the other one and I'll do a little comparison. That's exciting though. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> it's been a struggle, my friends. It has been a struggle.
You guys know I also struggle with my um, stropping a little bit. Um, so this morning, so I, I just worked on these over the weekend. And um, I just dropped today. 10 on linen or canvas. I think it's canvas. And then I did 15 on the leather. All right, so now we're going to go with this bad boy. See how this guy feels. Can't see. Surely can't see. Wow. I can feel the difference in the steel. I've had these, I got these both in the same progression, minus the bevel set. <clears throat> so both I took to the 4K, did what I thought I maxed out on, right? And then um, went to the 8K and finished it off. This one feels a little bit keener. I think I had too much coffee this morning. I can't explain it, but I do feel a difference in the, maybe it's the, maybe it's the metal used. It's hard to explain. Sorry, just gonna wipe the soap off here. I'm going to rinse off, hopefully, and not bump the phone, <laughs> and then come back. Uh, warm water rinse. God dang, this stuff smells good. The ultimate tobacco scented soup. Okay. Let me get the hair out of the way. All right. All right. Now we're gonna see how this goes across slash against the grain. Same thing. One side. One razor, the other razor. Right. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so far so good. I haven't decided, I don't know if I'm going to do a touch-up shave tomorrow, because normally I can't shave daily. And, pardon me, we don't really have any, any big plans for tomorrow, so it's just going to be dinner here at home. Wife's not working, thank goodness. I'm not working, thank goodness. Nice. 
nice. Very, very, very nice. I got lather all over my freaking hands. Okay. Go next. All right. Here we go. This one does feel, I don't know if it's sharper or if it's smoother. Hmm. Just cut this bunch of fucking hair off. Shit. Damn it. In a honey, you can feel a little bit of a difference between the two styles of razors as well. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. All right, let me see if I can clean up the chain a little bit. This edge is definitely better though. I can feel that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off. And then I'm gonna see how these two go, how these Razor is fair against the grain. Okay. Uh, my scales are all wet. So right off the bat, closeness is about even on both sides. So thinking that tells me that they both probably same sharpness I, I, I can't explain it I'm sorry fellas All right and ladies All right, we're gonna see how this goes against the grain here all right just so gonna go here Not expecting much. A little bit jumpy. Not too bad, but not bad, not bad. Not bad. Shit. All right, let me go to the other one. Dry my hands off. Sorry, guys. Dry hands are very, very important. <laughs> Yeah, this one's a little bit better. Okay. Not quite, can't quite cut it against the grain on my chin, but 
so much better than last time. So much. Nice. No, I'm not doing against the grain on the stash. Mm -mm. I like my nose. Not bad though. That's a pretty damn good shape. Shit, I'm happy. All right, they rinse off. I'm gonna put some of this on. You guys gotta check this out. I mean, this is this is yogurt right here, guys. Nice. I could have added a little bit more water to it, but you know what? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, I just proved to myself that I can do it. <laughs> Let me do a quick little recap for you. <clears throat> All right. Sterling Boar Brush. Guys, you have to get this brush. If you're in the market for a boar brush, look into this one for sure. You can't beat it for the price. Yes, it is a bitch to break in. But, dude, when it's broken in, it's freaking awesome. It's It's been my go-to for a while now. All right. Soap to back in the ceramic jar. Brand new, first time use. It soaked a bit longer than I expected, but it's okay. You guys know, tobacco lives up to the hype. It's a fantastic soap. Razors. So, again, I'll do a, a, a full shave dedicated to this one, but um, this is a razor I have that I hone myself from bevel set all the way up. It's a cool, cool little razor. Got some really, really good construction, sturdy construction. Again, now that I think I can do a full shave with it, I will um, devote an entire video to it. And then this one, the Dovo Bismarck, look at this bad boy. Beautiful, beautiful razor. I love this thing. It's, it's in my top three for sure. Um, this one, my Whacker, and the one that Maddie then home sent me. Oh, beautiful razors. I'm, I'm so scared to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed that shave. So, man, this is fantastic. I got to shave on both those edges that I put on myself. Now, all I have to do is get myself a really good finisher. I've got one picked out. I don't know when I'm going to get it yet. I'll get it eventually. Um, and then, it's just another rabbit hole to go down, right? <laughs> uh, this is fantastic, guys. I This was fun. I, I'm smooth. A normal smoothness from a straight shave you know i just have my typical rib spots here i did pretty good on my chin this time so a lot lot better a lot better so at least now i know how to take it to the stone and just kind of refine that edge a little bit and it was great it was great All right i gotta stop saying great this is a fun shave thanks for joining me everybody i hope um you guys are able to hear me and, and see my excitement and stuff like that this is this is pretty 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 exciting for me that's it everybody um again my progression 
this is because this is all I have right now. Um, diamond plate, 1200 to set the bevel on that uh, aluminum razor. And then a, a 4K and an 8K to the face. So guys, if you're looking, if you're in the market for an 8K stone, look into that Gokin, G-O-U-K-E-N, Fuji from Naniwa. It's an 8K. Um, beautiful, beautiful stone. And, and I mean, it's not quite a polishing stone, but it may act more like a 10K than an 8K, right? I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful edge. You guys know how much I struggle with against the grain and stuff like that. I mean, it did a really, really good job. And I just needed just a touch more and I'll be golden. Take care, everybody. Um, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for hanging on this long if you're still here. Um, I mentioned I will be doing a giveaway sometime soon. I don't know when yet, but I'll do it. Uh, I think that's it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Be safe out there. All right. Weather's getting pretty crazy here in the U.S. everywhere. Um, having said all of that, enjoy your Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, you know, be thankful for what we all have, okay? We, we do live in a land of, of, of plenty. And sometimes I think we take that for granted. So, with all that said, happy Thanksgiving. And as always, don't text and drive. Take care.